Still under the weather. Urgent decay HR2. Let's do this. What does under the weather even mean? Like, aren't you always under some kind of weather? Like, even if you were in a bunker underground, you're still under weather. It's just, that's the status quo, that's the norm. The only people not under weather would be, like, the people in the International Space Station. So, if you say under the weather, the only people who can't say that are astronauts. So what you're really saying, if you say you're under the weather, is you're saying, Hello, I am not an astronaut. Could be any other profession, but very specifically, I am not that one at this moment. So anyway, this is Tetsu Cabra. This is uh, the urgent get yourself to HR2 in the solo content. What is this mysterious bullfrog? How on earth could we fight it? I wonder what the armor looks like when you get it after killing a large number of them. There's really no way we could possibly be sure. Hmm, kind of surprised that worked because I'm sure we tried that online and because he had a rock in his mouth it didn't count as the flash bomb seeing his eyes. Or I guess the smarter way to have said that would have been the other way around for his eyes to have seen the flash bomb. I'm under the weather, leave me alone. Which is to say, I'm not an astronaut. Let's go for immunizer just so we have it once I take some damage or more damage. Yes, I agree, Sora. So. <laughs> My, what a small, insignificant rock you have there. Just waiting for the chance of him pulling out Dwayne. I know, I agree. She's very happily gnawing on one of our favourite toys currently. Which is, thankfully for you lot, not the bottle that she was chewing on last time. This is gonna hurt. But luckily I have an immunizer for that. The HP regen, the cats haven't healed me yet either, so that'll be coming any second, which it did. No, that was true health horn actually, that was his ultimate. I was using Bushido style, I could get out with those charges but even though I've done like great sword swings, but no, I had to be alchemy style. Immunizer feels like the easy go-to if you're doing this solo. Obviously it's good if you can get up to the tier 5s with a big heal for your cats. Especially against Tetsu Cabra, because the cats do not do a good job getting out of his way. I should probably buy some better armor for the cats. I've got a bunch of Tetsu Cabra parts just sitting around now. I mean, what is this monster? We've never fought it before. I'm certainly not using the armor set. We'll learn in time. In space. Let's just get a little regen. It's like my life gen addiction from Dark Souls 2. That's how I look upon those immunizers. It's just a nice little background regen while you can focus on fighting. Don't think that caught. He's really got it in for Maya for whatever reason. But then he fell over. That's not going to reach him. Right into that. Be a big tits camera. Do I make another immunizer? I still haven't used my free first aid, so maybe I can hold off. Get some earplugs, that might be handy. Jump up. Love they chose to sit still there. Let me do the full charge with the line more bonus. Yeah, those earplugs would have came in handy. I didn't think I was outside of the AOE there. 
Oh, the cat broke one of the tusks, which I always call horns, even though they're very clearly tusks. You can tell because they're coming out of his face, not his head. Try reading that on Wikipedia. He's mad. He's not going to give me much time to use the barrel. Oh, we've got a red border now. I keep forgetting that the immunizer is instant as well. There's like, there's no chugging animation. I would like to break both his horns. <laughs> See, that was entirely just muscle memory. Both tasks. I think would have helped out a bunch then. trying to fish for a mount, but he's not fighting at the part where you can actually do a jumping attack. He's going to be stopped. I'm stuck against the... <laughs> Bloody invisible walls. Bloody inability to turn while in the air. There we go. That'll give one cat time to come back. The other cat is pissed off. Sorry, your cat persona is pissed off. What'd I do? If she would talk, or if she could talk, she would say, let the cat play. Hey, both tusks are gone. And that is a limp, although not a limp in the direction I was expecting it to go. And I have not paintballed it. Yeah, it just went back through to where it was, didn't it? It's weird. Oh, the earplugs are just on, aren't they? For one roar. Okay. Let us go destroy the Tetsukabra. I was far enough away that I didn't immediately use up the earplugs. I'm pretty sure he was limping. Damn, this is the ground slash. Oh, that's him properly limping off to his nest now, yeah. He came back through here for one hit and then sodded off. We're still gonna have to fight him in area 7 again before he moves to. I think he moves down to area 9, is it? Is that where he ends up? Oh, come on, I wasn't close enough for that. Well, they let me get a couple of hits in. Your rocks are inferior. As are your charges. Have you seen my barrel? Quite the little leap you did there. What are you? Some kind of frog? I know a thing or two about frogs. They always wear business suits. They give you free Manabra cars. It's literally a split, like 0.2 of a second away from getting that carve. I want the carve. Yeah, you limp off. I'll murder you when I'm ready. dog has decided to crash next to me. About to steal my stamina. I need that for making videos when I'm under the weather. Because I'm not a scientist, by which I mean astronaut. Astronauts are scientists, right? Pretty sure you have to have a degree of something to be an astronaut. Also, I'm pretty sure my nose just squeaked there like a mouse. Is that normal? Probably something to do with the congestion, if I had to guess. Or the conversation, whichever. Huh, I honestly expected him to limp off there, that's why I was ready for the attack.
Okay, I didn't make contact with him there. I would have successfully rolled under him if this was world. Oh, we're up to purple buff. It's the best one if, if it just gives you permanent HP regen, I think. It probably doesn't last very long. Could have went. No, well, maybe not. I, mean, I don't think I would have got the tier 3. It would have roared before the contact was made. Goodbye. Didn't even get to go down to his nest. Boy, I can't wait to see what armor skills are on his armor set, which I've never seen. This is the face of a liar. Hmm, dignified skull, though. I still have uses for these bits. I can make the Tetsu armor for more of my cats. I can make the armor rating of this armor higher because this is the game where for every two levels of armor spheres you need to upgrade the armor, you then get a tier where you need to use X number of monster bits. No specific bits, you just have to use monster bits in general. They all have a point value and you have to get to a certain point value to get the upgrade. Oh, my phone's ringing again. How lovely. But anyway, we're at HR2 in terms of like the single story stuff, because we're already HR2 online. But we've now caught up. And we'll have access to all manner of horrors, including Kezu, I think, which is not something I'm looking forward to. Actually, I think Kezu might be the urgent to get to HR3. Don't quite remember. I'm not looking forward to it, although he does have a good great sword. So, swings and roundabouts, which is something a scientist astronaut would totally say. Let's cash this in and we'll see a bunch of unlocks. And useless palico items. Okay, go card stuff, ingredients, ingredients, save your progress. See you next time. Ta-da for now.